hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about broken bond was how kudib realized his mistake and he decided to go back to his family so he organized a surprise dinner party for shubra his wife and shubra was shocked let's continue from there kudib planned a surprise dinner party for shubra shubra gets shocked seeing kudib's surprise she questions kudib about chandrani saying that chandrani called her here to which Kudip replies that it was their plan to bring Shubra there. Shubra gets irritated and she was about to leave, but Kudip rushes towards Shubra and requests her to hear him out. Shubra sits on the chair and she asks Kudip to proceed. Kudip smiles and he apologizes for his mistakes. He accepts that he is at fault for Roli's changed behavior and he pleaded to Shubra to forgive him. Kudip suggests to Shubra that they should be a happy couple in front of their kids to bring their smile back. He reminds Shubra of how their relationship have affected their kids and he insists on Shubra to be with him for Rishi and Roli. But Shubra gets angry at his plan and she rebukes him. Shubra refused to help Kudip and she shouted at him for thinking about lying to their kids. Shubra declares that she cannot act to be a happy family along with him and she says that she will make her kid face the reality and she leaves from there instantly. Madura arranges the bottles in line for a game. Chandrani clicks selfies with Roli and prays for Kudip and Shubra's patch up. At that time, Roli takes her towards Narayan and insists on her to play along with him. Chandrani tries to deny but Roli forces her to do it. Meanwhile, Rishi sits aside because he is sad. Chandrani gets happy thinking about Kudip and Shubra, whereas Narayan challenges to make Chandrani lose the game. They keep taunting one another throughout the game, while Madura and Roli laugh, saying their argument. At last, Chandrani wins the game, making Narayan irritated. Madura gets happy and she congratulates Chandrani for winning the game. Shubra collided with Dr. Ash and the flowers get scattered from his hand. They remember their earlier moment. Shubra helps Dr. Ash to pick the flowers and she avoids looking at him. Ash notices tears in Shubra's eyes and he questions her about the matter. He says that he can see that Shubra is in pain and he offers handkerchief to her. He tries to lighten her mood while she expresses her pain. Ash asks Shubra to build a wall around her to avoid unwanted pain and Shubra agrees with him. Ash offers Shubra a white rose and tells her about its significance. Shubra smiles at Ash and takes the rose. They both go towards the party area. Kudip curses himself for spoiling Shubra's mood and he blames himself for flopping his plan. Later, Kudip receives Samira's video call. Samira notices the decoration and questions Kudip about it. She forces Kudip to show it to her and she gets frustrated seeing it. Samira throws the phone but Priki catches it and advises Samira to know about the truth. Samira takes the phone and interrogates Kudip while Kudip lies about decorating it for the kids. Later, the waiter brings champagne to the room but Kudip asks the waiter to take it back saying that it is not his order. Samira gets suspicious about Kudip and she confronts him on video call. Kudip gets furious and shouted at her. Piruki tries to calm Samira down and she apologizes to Kudip. Kudip shows her the ring gifted by her to convince her and then they cut the call. Whereas, Samira murmurs that Kudip still has feelings for Shubra. Ash comes with Shubra while Rishi smiles seeing Ash and he gives him a tight hug. Roli introduces herself to Ash and asks about him. She separates Rishi from Ash while Ash mingles with Roli and he becomes her friend as well. Roli insists on Ash to play with them while Ash suggests a new game to her. The kid gets excited and they goes to bring the stuff for the game. Shubra introduces Ash to her family and Ash takes their blessings. Chandrani sees Ash and Shubra's bond and she gets into thinking about Kudip. Kudip recalls what Shubra said. Chandrani comes to Kudip and says, why didn't you come with Shubra? Kudip says, I got lost. Your son was lost. I couldn't get it. Shubra is not the old Shubra. She has changed. She is not the Shubra I met 12 years ago. I cannot face her. Kudip cries and tells his mother that I did not understand Shubra. I am a loser. It is my fault that Shubra has changed. It is not her fault, but I don't accept my mistakes. 
I am addicted to fake life. Shubra is right. How will I teach my kid? I am living a lie myself. I couldn't save it. Chandrani says to Kudip that you chose wrong over right. You thought money was everything. You ignore Shubra's love and sacrifice. I know Shubra has changed. I was with her. But now I am with you because I know you are on the right path. Chandrani comforts Kudip and says Shubra is your wife. You loved her. You know how to make her yours again. Don't be in a hurry. Let her get out of this. Talk to her tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a new beginning. And Kudip goes to his room. Ash does carpet race with the kids. Narayan count it. Rishi is winning. Madura cheers for Roli. Rishi is the first and Roli is second. Shubra says Ash is the loser. Everyone laughs. Shubra asks Rishi, what gift do you want? Rishi says, I dare. And he makes Chandrani, Madura and Narayan play the same race. Ash counts the race game. He says, Father, you cannot cheat. Madura says, my knees hurt. Narayan and Chandrani cross together. Madura says, Chandrani won. I saw it. Narayan hugs Ash and says, thank you for all this mouse. And Ash eats ice cream with Narayan. Everyone is playing with the balloons. Ash says, Rishi is like Shubra in sadness and happiness, just not in anger. Narayan says, Rishi's anger is like mine. His father has hurt him. He would be hurt. Ash says, it is in our hands if we want to get hurt or not. Why should we give the key to our happiness into someone else's life? Narayan says to Ash that so I am old. Still, you are wiser. Shubra is self-sufficient. She doesn't need anyone. She is so happy. And so are the kids with her. Why don't you tell her all this? Ash says I don't need to tell Shubra anything. Shubra knows how to be on her own because she is brave. Ash tells Narayan that that is why we have this party here. Shubra will make her own name. A house cannot tie her. She got this flavor from you. Narayan says yes. Kudip is in the shower. He recalls what Shubra said and what Narayan said and he feels so bad. Kudip says to himself that Ash was right. I have to take the next step today. He says, sorry mother, I cannot wait for tomorrow. He calls the receptionist and asks them to connect him to room 109. He says they are at the pool side for the party. Kudip says okay and he goes there. Madura asks Narayan that how do you like Ash? Narayan says, if I found a doctor like Ash in my youth life, then your life would have been different. She laughs and says, that means you need Ash. Chandrani says, who would you need? He says, Ash, what an amazing guy. I am so glad to meet him. Chandrani looks at Ash playing with Shubra and the kids. Everyone plays the blindfold game. Shubra's eyes are closed. She catches Madura. Shubra tries to catch them and Kudip comes there. Shubra is about to fall but Ash holds her in time and Kudip is shocked. Rishi says, Grandma, take my photo with Ash. Shubra and Roli also stand with Ash. They all happily take photos with Ash like a family and Kudip sees all this and he gets angry. Chandrani sees Kudip's mood and she stops him from coming out. Chandrani says, don't dare say a word. Kudip says, you asked me to see the right path. When I open my eyes, my Shubra is in someone else's arms. Chandrani says to Kudip that really, so she is now your wife, your Shubra. Kudip says, I will break that man's head. How dare he take my wife in his arms in front of my kids. I will show him what I can do when my blood boils. Chandrani slaps Kudip and says, do you have a brain? You saw Shubra with someone and you got so angry. What about what you did with Samira? Are you blind? Kudip says, don't count my mistakes. I will kill that man. Chandrani says, swear on me that you will not meet Shubra or her parent tonight. But he insists and says, I will go there. Chandrani says to Kudip that I will kill myself if you go to disturb Shubra tonight. Kudip says, okay, I won't go. Chandrani says, good. Now go to your room. The morning would come and open your mind. Kudip leaves and Chandrani smiles, thinking that it is good that Kudip is now coming back to his senses. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a like, share it, and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye, guys.